a lot of hype about Windows 11. I am excited about the upcoming event on the 24th of June, a lot of veiled hints and at the same time a lot of contradictions. Let us dig in. Talking about Windows 10, do we think that it is yet complete? They introduced the Fluent Design System back in 2017 and said that it will take time to implement. It will be a journey together. But as we are approaching the far end of this journey, there is a new version of Windows. Sounds odd, right? In Windows 10, we still find inconsistent design. Windows 10 X adds a suggestion, since Microsoft has planned that Windows 10 X as a system software won't be shipped, but it will be implementing features of Windows 10 X elements from that operating system to Windows 10. Why would they do that to Windows 10 if they are just planning to bring a new version? Microsoft as we remember had even announced that this will be the last version of Windows. Windows 10 more like represents a service rather than a version number. Another possibility that I see is the presence of a new operating system along with the current one. One of them will cater to the needs of home and students while the other will be for business purposes. Windows 10 did a good job since 2015 and now it is time for something new. Windows 11, perhaps, or just Windows without any version number. Details are quite sparse. But somewhere I feel like that if Windows 11 is released, then it makes Microsoft follow Apple to some extent. When Windows 10 was announced to be the last version, like a service similar to Mac, again now we will see a new version like Mac OS 11. The dev channels have been still receiving the Windows 10 Insider Preview builds, which also will probably be a part of Windows 10. A lot of visual changes are set to come. I've even tried the preview builds myself and there are some pretty cool changes to the icons and system animations. Opening and closing of apps have a smooth new animation. The file explorer has a redesigned look due to the icons, access to news and weather from the talks bar and many more changes. But these are just UI changes, right? Bringing them to Windows 10 won't make it the next generation of Windows as said by Satya Nadella. Across all the opportunities I've highlighted today, Windows is implicit. It's never been more important. Windows 10 is used by more than 1.3 billion people to work, learn, connect, and play. And it all starts with Windows as a dev box. Windows brings together all your developer and collaboration tools in one place. It lets you choose the hardware you want, works with Linux and Windows environments as one, and has a modern terminal. And soon we will share one of the most significant updates of Windows of the past decade to unlock greater economic opportunity for developers and creators. I've been self-hosting it over the past several months and I'm incredibly excited about the next generation of Windows. User interface changes have always been there through updates. Even in 20H2, we found changes, but it did not make this much hype. Now coming to Microsoft's point of view, the way they have been teasing Windows, the first place is where Satya Nadella had said about the next generation of Windows. Note that he did not use the term Windows 10. If it was just a mere update that he would, he could have used the term Windows 10. But whenever he talked about the next generation, he has used the term Windows instead. Now coming to the Twitter update about the event, we find that the time is set to 11 a.m. ET. That is not the usual start time for typical Windows and Surface events. After the build event, Microsoft executive Yusuf Mehdi said he hasn't been this excited for a new version of Windows since Windows 95. Nadella has even promised that Microsoft would soon share one of the most significant updates to Windows of the past decade. Decade. Just think, the past decade. A feature update with some icons and UI changes is definitely not the subject in this case. A next version that is probably being teased. As far as I know, we are getting a new store which is a big update. As said by Nadella, their new system will unlock greater 
economic opportunities for developers and creators. Microsoft has failed to establish Windows Store as it had dreamed. Desktop applications are not present in the store and hence Microsoft will allow submission of applications without packaging. 64-bit applications would be emulated on ARM along with 32-bit apps. Hence, the Raspberry Pis will be able to run a more stable version of Windows. And also such features will encourage manufacturers to design laptops based on ARM. Hence, they will have a great, great battery life. Again, something very much similar to Apple's Switch to M1 chip, which are basically based on ARM. A lot of visual changes, inclusion of rounded corners are going to come. Implementation of Project Latte that is to run Android apps on Windows will be great if it is done in the next version of Windows, keeping the fingers crossed. Another hint is the short video posted along with the tweet. Have you noticed the light falling on the floor? That looks like to represent the number 11 or it can be just something done to make it look more realistic. Am I thinking too much? Might be. The timeline of the new Windows update is also different from the traditional timeline. Everything till now suggests a new version of Windows. Why releasing a new version of Windows will be profitable for Microsoft? A newer version will create a new hype. There will be new devices, new hardware running the new software and that will create an impact on the current system. It will be profitable for Microsoft to expand their services like Microsoft Office, Xbox Game Pass. It will also allow Microsoft to use their Azure cloud computing, in which they have invested heavily. I feel that this update will be just like a normal update from the settings app. There will be visual changes, tuning for performance and more coming as a free upgrade from Windows 10. There won't be a new license that existing Windows 10 users need to buy. It will just be an update, feature packed enough to call it the next generation or the next version of Windows. However, any move to deliver Windows via the cloud will greatly upset the Microsoft PC partners who see a release of the new Windows as an opportunity to sell new hardware. Even if recent Windows releases have been much less impactful than those of Windows 95, 98, XP era.